M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Let's load the firmware to our TDH3 radio by TID Radio. So I've created a new folder here called TIDH3. Just right click your desktop and go new folder and then you give it a name. Then go to this download link here, click download. You'll get a zip file, go to your downloads at the top. Click the zip at the top, extract it to extract to that folder that we just created that was called TID Radio 3 there it is there click that and then click OK and the contents are here double click this is our contents so inside there we've got a few things we've got programming software firmware and we've got this TX power tune which is a, the next video I'm going to do but anyway if you quickly double click firmware you have got instructions in there which are behind I'll show you them uh, and then the main thing is you've got the H3 IAP software for loading the firmware so double click that and run that I'm not going to run it again I'll show you it but it's actually when it when you do see it after it's run it's actually called um, H8 so don't let that confuse you but it's even though here it says h3 and then there's the bin file there that we're going to use so the instructions basically say run the software turn the radio off when the when the software is running you you open the file select your com port open file turn off radio then when you're ready you click start hold the ptt turn on the radio and then it starts to load so we're going to do that now double click the 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 window or the shortcut that's called h8 iap and you get this window here on the left this little yellow right we've got our com selected just go right click device manager double click and there's com 37 so then you just go set Com port. Right, show. Bit of a delay when you do this. 37, click OK. Machine info, what's that? Don't really know what that means. But anyway, um, so we need to turn the radio off. Select the file, click open, go to that TID3 file we created, double click. So we've got the, the bin file in there. The radio is off, we're going to hold off and the, the lead is in and you are told to sort of hold the lead in, which is quite fiddly. Press the PTT, click start and then turn on. And then that starts the loading process. And I, I've known it go into error many times testing this, so I'm just holding my fingers on everything. And at the end, when it's successful it will come on so we just try it again it could just be a bad connection on the lead so we just go end click start on off downloading wait for a moment I never had that message last time so yeah fingers crossed I, I did this on the H8 as well and I found that was playing up but it did do it in the end. There you are. Radio comes on, and if we go to menu 42, menu 42, I'm on version 231228, but there is a newer one, 231229. I'll try and find that and put that link in the description. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.